Darling, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. You know, dear, you're right. We need to find some new things to throw our money at. How about we adopt a child? Kids are expensive and cost a lot of money. You know, that is a great idea. Once we dock the yacht, we're going to the adoption agency. Wonderful, dear. Now, where is my caviar? Niles! Caviar? No! Oh, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. There's nothing to do in this adoption agency. I'm so bored. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I'm just going to run in circles forever. Hey, Brittany! What are you doing? Oh, hey, adoption lady. I'm just so bored. I'm trying to figure out something to do. Well, be useful and do the chores! But I'm so bored of doing all the chores. I do it all the time. Kid, stop your complaining. That's why y'all never get adopted. No one likes a complainer! Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Customers! Kid, you need to scram. You're too ugly and you will scare away the adopters. Get lost! Get Whoa. lost! Okay, okay. I'll just hide over here in this corner. Hello. We're here to adopt a child. Yes, you heard us right. Us trillionaires want to adopt. Oh my goodness, you've come to the right place. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This could be my chance. I'm literally the only kid in here, so I gotta be the one that gets adopted, right? Wait a minute. Oh, you. Hello. Adoption lady, we'll take her. Uh, are you sure? She's ugly. Yes, we're sure. And hey, it's not very nice. That ugly. Consider yourself adopted. Welcome to the family. Welcome to your new home, Brittany. Isn't it wonderful? Whoa, you gotta be kidding me. This house is massive. It's like a million stories high. You really get to live here? <laughs> of course you do, dear. Now come along. Let's go inside before the poor people see us. Oh, this is my new home. It's perfect. It's better than I could have ever dreamed. Thank you. Of course. Now I have somebody that would love to see you. Oh, Catherine, dear. Come down here, daughter. Wait, I have a sister? No way. Always wanted a sister. Mom, why are you interrupting me? I was in the middle of shopping. Well, dear, I would like to introduce you to your new adopted sister. This is Brittany. Ew, what? You gotta be kidding me. I thought she was like the maid or something. Oh, she looks poor. Oh dear, now that is no way to speak to your sister. Now how about you make her feel at home and show her to her bedroom and I'm gonna go upstairs and count my money later. Hi, it's really nice to meet you. <sighs> Shut up, you're already annoying. I wanted to be an only child and you're ruining everything. Look, I'm sorry, this is gonna be a big adjustment for both of us, but maybe one day we can get along and maybe be best friends. <laughs> As if. Now follow me if you want to find your room. Okay, where are we going? Okay, Britt, we're in find the button. So in order to get to your room, you have to find the button in at least 10 rooms. You have 15 minutes to complete this. If you can't find the button in time, you have to sleep in the dumpster. <laughs> where you belong. Later, loser. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Okay, how hard can this be? I just gotta find a button. What, what does the button even look like? I gotta look around and make sure I check every inch I need to get a room in my new house. Okay, if that was a button, where would I be? Hiding? Right there! Perfect! The first room was easy. Now I'm in like this cactus sand place? I don't know. I kind of love it. It's really cute. Look at these cactuses. Oh, adorable. Oh, got too close. Uh, focus, Brittany. Don't look at the cactuses, even though they're adorable. Find that button. Use your eyes. It can't be that hard, right? Let's climb up here. Oh, wait, I see it. Perfect. <laughs> Whoa. Kind of scary forest situation. It's dark. Can I get a flashlight down here? I don't really see much. Right there. On the top of the little, like, mushroomy thing. Whoa. Gotta be red, right? I mean, we're in another red room. <gasps> Can I swing on the swing? Brit, stop, focus! Ha! Huh! Right there on the wall. This level kind of is getting harder and harder. And I think I've only made it through a handful of rooms. I got a bunch more to go. Oh, yes! There's a button. Whoa, Candyland! I wanna live here! Can this be my room? I'll just eat the chocolate and the ice cream and oh, oh, nope, not the bananas. Oh, I hate bananas. They're terrible! There's the button on top of the 
Cherry? Cherry, I'm top of the anything over here. Wait, I gotta climb the little like cookie cake thing and get to the top where the button is. I found it. On to the next room. Two minutes remaining. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Where are you? Here, button, button, button. That doesn't work. Under the tent? Oh, near the barrel? No, absolutely not. By the, by the chair. Oh, this one's really, really hard. I can't really think. Oh, I see it. I see it over here. Wait a second, an alien abduction? Hey, hey, take me with you! I wanna go to Mars! Hello? Oh, yes, that didn't work. On to finding the button. <gasps> Over by the hill! Yes! This is my last room. This doesn't look hard at all. I mean, no. Wait, <coughs> it's not! The button's right there. Yes, I did it! I made it to the end! Looks like you found your room. I can't believe you! Wait, Catherine, sister, where did you go? I don't know, I mean, maybe we can buy another island in cash? Well, that sounds marvelous. We just have so much money, I don't know what to do with it. Dad, I can't believe it! I don't want a sister anymore! <laughs> well, dear, I'm sorry, but uh, Brittany is a part of the family now. I know, and I did it! Well, darling, what will make you feel better? Money, please! Well, why don't you open the bank vault? Take as much as you'd like. Yay! <laughs> guys i'm out of here oh Brittany, are you here for your hundred thousand dollars as well a hundred thousand dollars for what just because here you are oh my gosh it's like a boatload of money thanks i don't know what to do oh dear don't even worry about it it's fine we're trillionaires we don't care about money i don't really care about money either i just really would like my new sister to like me so far i don't think she does <laughs> oh who cares people will like you as long as you have money that's all that matters in life i always thought it was what's on the inside that counted <laughs> <laughs> dear that's what poor people say you know Brittany, darling your father's right life as a trillionaire is different you'll have to learn to get used to it Jeff Bezos? Ah, uh, hello there. I assume you're here on a business meeting with my husband, Ron? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Come on in. I believe he's just counting his trillions. <laughs> Me too. Oh, hi there. Brittany, darling, this is Jeff Bezos. You know, the owner of Amazon. Uh, who is this poor girl? Oh, this is Brittany, our new adopted daughter. <laughs> oh, where did you find her? Living in the dumpsters behind one of my millions of Amazon? on warehouses. <laughs> hey, Brittany, may I speak to you for a second? Over here. What is it, Mom? What he said wasn't very nice. I don't care. If you want to be a part of this family, you're gonna need to look the part. We can't have people calling you poor. You need to look like a trillionaire, like me. I don't understand. I mean, I like who I am. I like the way I look. I don't want to change that. You are a part of a trillionaire family now, so you must Act like it. Okay, Brittany, you're facing off against the two most wealthiest heiresses in Roblox. Whoever makes the most expensive outfit wins. Good luck. Don't let your trillionaire family down. Oh my gosh, I have to come up with a super trillionaire look. I don't know where to start. Um, let's pick out some super fancy hair. Oh, this is perfect. We'll go with that. And now on to my face. I need something with like, Awesome makeup. Okay, here we are. Now onto the fit. I need like a big old fancy dress or something, right? I mean, so far so good. 60 seconds. Wow, that's not enough time. Oh, fancy rich, fancy rich, let's do it. I don't think that will do it. Ooh, what about a nice bow down? Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. Let's go with this, and it's gotta be pink, right? Perfect. And now for a really cute top. Yeah, 27 seconds. Um, oh, three, two, one, time for the fashion show. I hope I look rich enough. Okay, I'm up first. I gotta wow the judges. Hello, everyone. Don't I look really rich? Vote for me. Hope that went well. Okay, next is Merry Holiday. Wow, uh, this is a really creative outfit. The winner is me. I did it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Wow, Brittany, I am quite impressed. I didn't think you had the fashion sense in you. And as a prize, I have had a designer custom make you an outfit. You look amazing. 
Wow! Thanks, Mom. Yeah, this dress is really fancy. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> Don't say that, dear. It, you're a trillionaire. You have way more than a million. Thanks, Mom. That was actually kind of fun. Of course, dear. Now you really look like you belong in this family. Oh, um, I was actually wondering, do you think I could have one of my friends come over so I can show her my new house? You have friends? <laughs> Well, yeah, of course. Well, then fine. You can invite them over. Great, Mom. Thank you. Yes, my best friend Sophie's here. Coming. Hey, girl. Wait, Sophie? What are you wearing? Oh, uh, hey, Britt. Check out this new house. Dude, this is amazing. Whoa, yeah. Come on in. I don't mind if I do. <gasps> wow, this fridge is stuck. There's a gold-plated steak in here, Britt. Yeah, it's kind of Crazy self, I was adopted by trillionaires. But I have to ask, um, what's with the construction outfit? Oh, don't you worry about it. I was working on building a secret tunnel. Wait, really? To where? It's a secret. Whoa. Um, okay, I, I won't ask any other questions. But Soph, I'm so excited to show you around my new house. Girl, this place is definitely a big upgrade. Not an option agency. Woo! Scary place. I know. Come on, let's go upstairs to my room. You are gonna freak out. <gasps> oh my gosh, what the heck? Poor person! There's a poor person in our house! Oh, whoa, <laughs> Catherine, relax. This is just my best friend, Sophie. Hiya there. Oh my gosh, I don't believe it. You have friends? Why is everyone saying that? Yeah, why is that surprising Brynn has friends? She's amazing! But uh, my name's Soph. It's nice to meet ya. Ew, don't come any closer to me. You're gross, you're ugly, and you're poor, and ugh. Wow, okay, she's incredibly rude, Britt. Are all trillionaires like that? Don't worry about it, Soph. Now come on, let's go upstairs. Gucci, Fendi, Prada. Oh my gosh, Britt, you have all the designer labels. This is crazy, oh my goodness. You have a whole view of all the blocks marked out there. I can see my house. It looks so little. Aww. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is kind of cool, I guess. What's wrong, Britt? You don't seem as excited as I thought you'd be. Well, so it's kind of hard to explain, but I, I don't know. I don't feel like I fit in with this family. Dude, who cares if you fit in? You get to live in a mansion. If you don't like them, you can just run to another part of the mansion. That's what I would do. Well, I am really grateful that I was adopted, but I always dreamed that the day I was adopted, I'd be into a big loving family. And I don't know, these trillionaires have a really funny way of showing that they care about each other. They just give each other money. I mean, I don't know. It's all pretty exciting to me. I just thought my new family would love each other. All they think about and all they talk about is money. Well, dude, how about you go on a little like family outing or something? <laughs> I'm not too sure, Sophie. Their idea of fun is using their private jet and going to Hawaii for like a day. A private jet? Oh my gosh, that's so cool! <sighs> so I think you're missing the point here. Mm, I don't know. Brittany, your tutor is here. Oh, I, I have a tutor? <laughs> you learning. <laughs> I'm out of here. I gotta go. See ya. Who is that? Uh, are you having work done to the closet? Is it not big enough? Oh, no. That was my best friend, Sophie. Oh, okay. Well, come on, dear. Let's run along. Brittany, meet your tutor, Mrs. Lincoln. Hi there. It's so nice to meet you. All right. Let's see. Huh. Okay. You got a big head. Hopefully there's a lot of brain in there. Yeah. Well, you look poor and stupid. Wait, what? Oh, well, Mrs. Lincoln, that's why we hired you. We need you to make Brittany smart. Now have fun. I'm off to a yacht. Okay, now trillionaires need to be the smartest people in the world. So you must beat all these normal kids at tech or die. Are you ready? I hope so. Okay, here we go. Name something you would find in a classroom, right? It shouldn't be too hard, right? Um, what about Cyclopedia? Nope, dictionary. No, oh, what, computer? Why can't I find any of this? Teacher, Whew, okay, that was a close call. Also, who decides this? Everyone else is doing so good. All right, our next question. Name a type of bear. Polar bear. Ah, yeah. Oh gosh, this is really close. Lava will rise by eight blocks. This is intense. Name a fruit. Uh, grapefruit. Race is really close. Name something hot. Lava. Magma. Why are none of these things working? I have 18 seconds. Guys, help me think. Um, 
temperatures? The desert. Oh my gosh, what the heck? The sun. Whoa. Name something you would bring to the beach. Sunblock. Yeah, that should be a good one, right? I don't know if I could do it. This is really, really hard. But I gotta believe in myself. I know I'm smart and I can do this. Name something you would bring on a camping trip. Flashlight, yes. The lava is really rising. Wait, oh my gosh. I already beat one of the students. I feel bad. Name something you would find on a desk. Computer monitor. Yes. Type of juice. Apple juice. My fave. Eight blocks. And the next question is, name a place you can swim. Ocean. Oh no. Bye, Mary. It's against me and one other student. Name something you would find in a backpack. In my backpack, I have dog toys, but that's just only because for my puppy. Um, laptop. Yes. Oh no. <gasps> I did! I beat the other students! <laughs> Congratulations! It looks like you've won! You're a lot smarter than you look. <laughs> oh, isn't this fun? I'm so excited I got rid of my Hummer, and I will be getting my new custom Lamborghini delivered to the house next week! Yeah, that is really exciting, Mom. But honestly, I'm just so glad to be spending time together. You know, I'm actually enjoying it as well. I didn't think I would, but <laughs> I am! I'll be honest, Mama. I wasn't sure if anyone in the family liked me. <laughs> oh, don't be silly, darling. Like, gotta know, why did you guys adopt me in the first place? Well, simply at first, it was because we wanted to find a new way to spend our money. But we've actually grown to really, I don't know, care about you? Seriously? Oh, that's awesome. That's all I've ever wanted was a family to care about me. Yes, yes, isn't that great? No, come on, I believe that the Gucci store is open just for us. Let's go. Okay, sounds fun. Hey, stop right there. It's a robbery. Give me all your money, fancy lady. Oh my goodness, what? I'm taking that. Hand over the cash. No! Oh my goodness! Ah, uh, see ya. Thanks for the trillions. Oh my goodness, I'm terrified. I don't quite know what to do. Oh my gosh, I don't know either. But mom, you stay put. I'm on it. I'm gonna catch that guy. Get back here, Mr. Robber. I gotta stop that man. Nah, you'll never catch me, kid. Get back here. Oh my gosh, no, he's getting away. You're gonna have to be faster to catch me. What the heck? How did we get in this obby? You're gonna have to catch me. <laughs> I can't let that criminal get away. All right, come on, jump. I'm on his tail, I'm almost there. Whoa. I didn't know the pieces would be wiggly. This is insane. Okay, easy does it, easy does it. And jump. I'm on to you, buddy. Where'd he go? Ha ha ha, you're gonna have to be faster than that. Oh, jump and jump. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's getting away. Ha 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 ha. Right, climbing up the ladder. Perfect. Whoa, oh my gosh. Which way do I go? I have to avoid the sliding red dots and run, 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 run. Whoa. Ha ha ha. Okay. Oh my gosh, Whoa! no, I can't keep dying, I gotta beat him. Gonna run away with all my mom's money. Ooh, perfect, whoa, this is crazy. Wait, no, you can't catch up to me. Whoa. Gotta watch out for these lasers. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm free. Ah, no. Get back, I gotta get back. Whoa, go, oh, I did it. <laughs> all right, I have to focus, I can make this jump. No. Oh. Go. He's already to the next room. Oh, Brittany, hurry up! Okay, almost there. Catching up to him. All right. Yes! Woo! Now onto the moving blocks and jump! Huh, you're doing pretty good, but you won't make it through this round. Just hand over the money. You're gonna have to catch me first. <laughs> Get back here! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, I don't know if I can do this. Ooh. Yes, perfect! I beat him! And I got all my mom's money back. Yes! You're going to jail, criminal. All right, all right. Hands behind your back. You're going away for a long time, criminal. Never. That's what you get for stealing my mom's money. I can't believe you would do such a thing. Poor people are terrible. Lock him away, officer, at once. All right, you heard the fancy lady. Let's go. Brittany, thank you so much for saving my money. Of course, mom. No one messes with my family.
<laughs> it's gone. It's all gone. <laughs> One last look at this imported marble fireplace. I'll miss you, old buddy. Dad, we're... <laughs> Ronald, dear, what has happened to you? You look poor, like a homeless person. Well, dear, that's because we're two steps away from being homeless people. We lost it. We lost all the money. <gasps> no, no. Uh, it's got to be a joke, R right? Wait, what? What did you do to lose all the money, Dad? Well, <laughs> I bet all the money on a game of rocks, paper, scissors, and I lost. I lost. You've got to be kidding me. No! <laughs> I'm gonna have to break the news to Catherine! <laughs> oh my goodness. It's it's terrible, Britt. It's terrible. No one will ever like us. All our friends are gone. They've blocked us on Instagram, Snapchat, even Facebook. It's terrible. Well, Dad, I'm really sorry to hear this, but if your friends are leaving you because you don't have any money, then clearly they were never your friends in the first place. <laughs> oh, I can't even listen to you. It's all over. <laughs> How will we recover from the financial ruin? I bet you even want to leave and be put up for adoption again. Be adopted by another rich family, don't you? Absolutely not, Dad. In tough times, family sticks together no matter what. And you're my family. I hope your sister Catherine feels the same way. She's a spoiled brat, and it's all my fault. You know what, Dad? I think I have an idea. I think I know how I can help us get the money back. Good luck. You're going to need it. Sophie, thanks so much for helping me track down the rich guy that stole my family's money. Ah, don't mention it, girly. Tracking down people is my favorite hobby. And uh, don't thank me yet. We got to make sure he comes out of his big old mansion first. You're right. And your hobby, it's helpful, but it's creepy. Ah, tell me something I don't know. Now, come on! Sophie, wait up! Wait up! Wait up! Wait up! Whoa! Check this place out. It's sick! Whoa! Which door is the front door? There's like a million doors! Or is that just a big window? I don't know. Rich people are confusing, and so is their architecture. Well, Sophie, now that we're here, how in the world are we going to get them outside? That'll be easy. Like this. Hey, big fan! Dork man, hello! Rich dude, up the door! Hello! I think you left your money outside! What is this? What is all the commotion? Are you the man that stole the money from my family? <laughs> You're the trillionaire's daughter! <laughs> you bet I stole your family's money! It was like stealing candy from a baby! Well, fancy pants man, I challenge you to a battle! <laughs> You're a Ooh, to step up and challenge me. I already took the richest family's money in town, and I doubt you have much worth taking. Oh, you're gonna regret saying that, dude. My bestie's amazing, and she's gonna beat your butt. <laughs> well, come on, girl. Let's get to your challenge. I'm going to win. You're caught standing on the wrong color when the timer goes off. Say goodbye. Begin! First color is gray. This should be easy, right? <laughs> Silly girl. Purple, purple, yes. This is a close one. Dark green, come on, come on. <gasps> Brit, should I push him off? No, Soph, I gotta beat him fair and square. Um. Red. You girls thought this would be hard? <laughs> Just you wait, buddy. Your confidence is gonna get the worst of you. We'll see about that. Blue. I is a tough competitor. Ooh. <gasps> oh my gosh! So Bessie, you did it! You beat that big old fancy pants man! And you got all your family's money back. I'm so excited, so We did it! I can't wait to tell my family. Wait, hey, everyone, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, don't be so sad. I have amazing news. Dear, nothing will cheer us up. We're losing our home. The bank is foreclosed on it. Yes, dear. So say goodbye. <laughs> All my things. No, you guys don't need to worry. I beat that mega rich man and I got all of our money back. What? I impossible. Yay! We're saved. Oh my gosh, where's the money? Where is it? Huh? Huh? Hand it over. Hand it over. I can't be caught dead looking like this. I'm poor. I look like you. Uh, 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 wait just a minute now, Catherine. Dear, what is it? Now, Britt, are you sure you want to give us back the money? 
That's a lot of money, and you won it fair and square. Of course I'm sure. What good is all this money if I can't enjoy it with my family? Have you told the girls yet about your secrets? I haven't, but it's for their own good, mother. I demand that you tell these girls at once. They deserve to know the truth about their mother. But I don't want the girls to know I'm a billionaire. They'll grow up spoiled. Well, you cannot hide the truth forever. And if you won't tell them, I will. Super good news, I got promoted at work. I'm gonna make like way more money now. Britt, can you move? I'm trying to watch TV. Brenda, do you seriously not care? This is exciting news. You should be proud of your sister. I'd be proud if you go get the sushi that I ordered. That must be what's at the door. Fine, Brenda, as long as you let me have a little piece of the California roll. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just get out of the way. Hello? Oh, um, hi there. Oh, hello, dear. How are you? My, have you grown. I'm sorry. I think you might be at the wrong house. Who are you? It's me, your grandmother. Wait a minute. I think I do remember you. But I thought you lived super far away. What are you doing here? Girls, I'm... Oh, mother, good to see you. It's been a while. Oh dear, enough of this. Where is your other daughter? They need to know now. Mother, I I'm not too sure about this. Mom, what's going on? Enough of this. Uh, mom, mom, no, please. Hey, wait, wait. Hello, who is this? Fierce old lady. Brenda, this is your grandmother. Girl, you got style. Nice to meet you, granny. Girls, I have something I have to tell you. Your mother is a billionaire. Mom, why wouldn't you tell us this? You lied about being rich our entire lives. I didn't want you to know about this. I wanted you to work for your money and learn the value of a dollar. Oh, working's for the poor. It's almost insulting that you'd want my granddaughters to do such a thing. Speaking of which, I got a promotion at work. It's amazing, Brittany. Amazing? Brittany, I demand, as your grandmother, that you quit immediately. Girls in our family do not work. We're billionaires. Okay, Mom. I think it's about time that you leave. I I'll bring you to your car. Come along. I want all of the potato chips. All of them, Mom. You got that? Brenda, there's like a million bags of chips in this store. That's super expensive. Well, mom's a billionaire. She can buy us whatever we want now. Just because we have a little bit of money doesn't mean you get everything you want. Mom, if I want all the chips in the world, you better get me all the chips in the world. Brenda, you're being a brat. If I want something, you get it for me. You're the worst mom in the world. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Brenda, you're being super embarrassing. Quiet down. I don't care. I'm a billionaire and I want what I want. Excuse me, what is the commotion here? I am distraught. My mom's a billionaire, but she won't give us any money. <laughs> she has so much. Well, that does seem quite outrageous. Sam, you should probably give your daughters a little bit of money. And if you don't, you'll be banned from the store. This is unbelievable. Uh, Brenda, you can have my credit card. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. I'm gonna go to the mall shopping. Thanks, bye. Sir, I am just so embarrassed. I am so sorry again for my daughter creating a scene. Honestly, it's fine. I just wanted her out of the store. Now come on right this way. I'll check you out. I have to tack on a hundred dollar billionaire fee, of course, for my troubles. Hey, Sophie. Well, hello there, Lady Brittany. What has gotten into you? Why are you being weird? Well, I saw that Brenda's been posting online all about you being a billionaire. Oh, oh my gosh. Ever since Brenda and I found out that our mom was secretly a billionaire, she's been going full on Brenda and acting crazy. Well, dude, no matter how much money you have, there's still the same old Brit to me. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Is that you, Brit? Oh no, Brit, it's millionaire Melissa and Tammy Tortellini. The richest girls around. And they're like the most popular, um, hey girls, <laughs> how's it going? Hey kids. Ew, don't talk to us, poor girl. Oh my goodness, so Brit, like, we heard the news. So we came here to talk to you. Talk to me? About what? Um, about the fact that you're like a millionaire now. It's like so cool. You have more money than Melissa. Shut up, Timmy. <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm not rich. It's my mom who's secretly a billionaire. Yeah, but that's like the same thing as you being rich. Like, what are you even doing working still? Brit likes her job. She gets to hang out with me. It's true. I love working with my best friend. Ew, shut up, Sophie. Ugh, stop talking. Well, hey, we've been thinking. We want to expand our circle of like super wealthy friends and invite you over for a party. Yeah, I'd love to go. Can I chop liver over here? 
Oh my gosh, no, absolutely not, Soph. I'll go, but only if Sophie can come too. Yeah, sure. Britt, come by my mansion later. We'll see you later. Honestly, Britt, I hate those girls. They're so rude and snobby. I know, but like everyone at school is gonna be at their party. It could be really fun. I don't get a good feeling about this. This house is unbelievable. It's huge. Britt, I'll be honest, I really don't feel like going to this party. I'm not gonna fit in. Oh, come on, it'll be fine. I mean, you got your best friend by your side. What's the worst that could happen? I feel like you always say that, and then the worst does happen. It's fine. Come on, Soph. We don't want to be late. Hello? Oh my gosh, welcome, Britt. You look amazing. Come on in. And Sophie, hi. Well, thank you guys so much for inviting us. This place is so cool. It's all right. You know, it's one of my smaller houses. My big real mansion is being renovated. Yeah, this house is like super small. And Sophie, this is a house. People live in these with money. Have you ever heard of that? Of course I've heard of it. Sure, I like a more rustic lifestyle, but that don't mean anything. Cute. Okay, so Britt, we made a cappuccino for you on the counter. It has gold in it. You should like totally have it. Gold cappuccino? Ooh. I don't think so. Yeah, loser, you can't touch that. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, what do you mean? You said you made an extra? Yeah, but like it's only for Britney. Poor people can't tell the difference between good coffee and bad coffee. So like go to Dunkin' Donuts or something. You know what? I'm not sticking around this stupid place. You guys are rude. Sophie's out. Sophie's such a loser, right? Yeah, Britt, like I cannot believe you're friends with her. What you guys said was really rude. That's my best friend and I will not let you talk about her that way. Ew, wait, really? You like actually are friends with her? That is so sad. You guys are jerks. I'm out of here. Hey, Sophie, wait up. <coughs> Sophie, oh my gosh, are you crying? No, um, it was a bug that flew in my eye. Mm -hmm. Yep, Sophie doesn't cry. No. Nope. I'm so sorry about what those girls said. I told them they were being really rude. And that's unacceptable to treat someone that way. You defended me? I thought you wanted to be friends with those girls. They're super rich and popular. Not like me. Sophie, you're my best friend. And of course, I'll always defend you. That's what best friends do. Now, come on. Let's go hang out. We don't need to be at this stupid party anyways. Mom, I love relaxing by the pool with you. This is my favorite thing on earth to do. Mine too, Brittany. The pool is my happy place, really. Mom! Mom, I think our relaxation's over. I need a word with you, lady. Brenda, dude, what is your problem? Don't yell at mom. Mom turned off my credit card. Brenda, dear, I'm sorry, but I had to. You were spending way too much money. Ugh, I knew you would say that. That's why I called grandmother. Oh, hello, dears. Now, Teresa, I need a word with you. How dare you be taking money away from my grandchildren? But mother, it's my decision. If I want to take the money away so they learn a lesson, I can do that. You are denying your grandchildren of the real life they deserve. Grandma, we have a really awesome life. We don't need the billions of dollars to be happy. <laughs> Oh, Brittany, your imagination is just adorable. Yeah, see, Grandma, I told you, Brittany is so weird. She doesn't understand anything. She wouldn't know a good life if it hit her in the face. That's not true, Brenda. I just don't need money to make me happy. I've been thinking. Girls, I'm gonna show you what your life is supposed to be like. You'll be coming and staying with me for a little while. Granny, like, are you for real? That's a I, I didn't say the girls could go. Well, I don't care, Teresa. Brenda, Brittany, go pack your things. Fine, girls. Go spend time with your grandmother. Oh, girls, I've just had the greatest day in the world with you. What did you think? Grandma, oh my gosh, I can totally get used to this lifestyle. And Brittany, what about you? I don't know, Grandma. I mean, it's been really nice spending time with you, but all these fancy things just aren't really for me. Listen here, Brittany. Your mother denied you this life, and you deserve it. I don't know why you have to be so ridiculous about it all. Yeah, dude, are you serious? This life is amazing. Our other life is so dumb. Well, I don't think it's dumb. Whatever. Grandma, I need way cooler stuff for my bedroom. My stuff is so old and small and 
or looking. Oh my goodness, Brenda, I will not have any of that. Come along, the furniture store is right over here. Oh man, I don't wanna go into another store. Oh, hello, Karen. Long time no see. Hello, Monica. So you brought some shoppers with you, huh? Yeah, lady, and I want one of everything. Oh. And, and, and I want a vintage chandelier. Well, I'm sorry. We don't have any vintage chandeliers just hanging around. Grandma! You hear this woman? Wait, what is going on? I told your friend here we don't have vintage chandeliers. This is an outrage. How dare you deny my granddaughter what she wants? Look, lady, I don't know what to tell you. If we don't have it, we don't have it. Well, I want you to call the president of your company and get one fashioned for my granddaughter. And I will not come back to this store if you don't get us exactly what we want. Grandma, you might want to relax. Not a big deal. Brittany, quiet down. Grown-ups are talking. Look, lady, I'll do the best I can to find you one, all right? Come over to the register and we'll pay. See, Brenda, you just have to get a little forceful and you'll get your way. Noted, Granny. Thank you. All right, so your total is $120,000.45. Is that cash or credit? That'll be credit. Here. All right, um, yeah, your card has been declined. That can't be. Brenda? You were the last one with my credit card, weren't you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I actually took it when you weren't looking and did some more online shopping. Brenda, I cannot believe you spending all this money. Now we're going to have to return everything I bought you today. Grandma, you said I could keep all these things and I'm going to. Brenda, no, no, wait a minute. Ho hold on, hold on. Hey, Mom, I'm home. I've missed you so much. Brittany, dear, I'm so glad to see you. How was being with your grandmother? No, being a billionaire, I guess, was kind of cool, but I like my normal life a lot better better. Brittany, I am just so glad that you haven't changed a bit. If you keep working hard, maybe you can make your own billions of dollars. But uh, I must ask you, where's Brenda? About that. So we were at the furniture store. Mom, I can't believe it. Your mother is the worst mother and grandmother ever. Oh boy, here we go. Grandma cut me off of her money and now I'm broke. I knew I should have kept this all a secret and I knew it would go to your head. You don't handle exciting news well, Brenda. Now I'm poor. Why don't you get a job? And that way you can make your own money. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You're so, uh, I can't believe you. I am so alone. My parents abandoned me. They said they were too poor to take care of me and now here I am on the mean cold streets of Brookhaven all alone. But you know what? I'll be okay. Maybe, I don't know, I could find like a family to adopt me or I could just go live at the orphanage. I don't know. Whoa, oh my gosh. <gasps> Hello there, uh, how can I help you? You guys look awfully fancy. I mean, look at that woman. She's got a dog in a purse. I love it. What are you doing out here this late? Well, you see, um, my mom and dad, uh, they abandoned me. They said that I was gonna be too expensive for them to take care of, so they kicked me out of my house and I'm um, just stuck here all alone. I don't believe it. I know, it is kinda awful that my parents just like kicked me out, but it, it's okay, I'll be fine. <laughs> I know how to help. <laughs> oh my gosh, can we keep her? Talking about me? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, of course, we'll gladly take care of you. I cannot believe my eyes or my ears. Uh, boo, this is insane. Would you like a nice home with us? Would I? That would be so cool. Please, I mean, it would be so much better than living out on the street or in that scary, scary Brookhaven orphanage that they have. Perfect, someone we can spend all our money on. Okay. What exactly do you mean by that? Oh, silly girl. You don't know who we are? No, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't. I'm just a kid and I don't really watch the news all that much. We are billionaires. <laughs> billionaires? Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, I, I'm trying not to freak out right now. But am I being adopted by billionaires? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Now I'm super excited to join their family. This is awesome. Oh man, I'm just so bored and lonely. I feel like I've been sitting here for hours. I've just been watching all these Shane Plays 2 videos. 
<laughs> Guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you go check out that channel. You get to see super cool stories about me, Officer Rufus, and Shane. But regardless, even though these stories are awesome and I love this channel, I just really wish my mom and dad were around to hang out with me. They're always gone and I feel like I just, I don't even know them and all I want is to spend time with them. I thought being adopted by a billionaire family would be a little bit more fun. I thought my parents would be around to take care of me, but they're not. They just leave me with my mean babysitter all the time. Maybe she'll want to hang out or, or something? Well, let me go find her. Miss oh, oh uh, hi, Miss Jennifer. How are you? Um, why are you crying? I miss my mom and dad, Miss Jennifer. When are they coming home? Why would they want to come back here? Uh, their adopted daughter is here and uh, I need parents to take care of me. I mean, when are they coming home? Please, please tell me it soon. If I was them, I would be gone even longer. Why? I mean, don't you think they should be home like taking care of their child? And they're billionaires. Why would they want you? They adopted me and they, they wanted me because I was poor and alone and sad, so like, I don't know, shouldn't that be a good enough reason? You're being such a brat. They left you tons of money. Yeah, so what? Money doesn't solve all my sadness. It just makes me feel even worse. Well, what else could you want? Maybe my mom and dad. You just don't get it, Miss Jennifer. You don't get it at all. You're the worst babysitter ever. I just want my family. <laughs> When will my mom and dad come home? <laughs> I don't want to hang out with this mean babysitter anymore. <laughs> I am having the most fun now that I get to go to school all the time. Sure, my parents are still always off on business trips and vacations, but at least I have my school friends to hang out with, right? I mean, I love going to school. I love learning. I love meeting all new people and doing like projects, especially art class. Guys, comment down below. What is your favorite class in school? I live for art class. I'm going to go meet my friend Rachel upstairs because I told her I would meet her after lunch. And it's after lunch. Oh gosh, I don't want to be late. I don't want to lose my new friend. She's so awesome. Hey, Rachel, what's going on, girlfriend? Hi, Britt. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing well. How are you? How's your day going so far at school? I'm doing great. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> How was your lunch? I had the best ham and cheese sandwich to ever exist. What did you eat? Um, actually, can I borrow some money for lunch? Yeah, did your mom forget to give you some? Uh, of course, uh, I don't mind at all. Here, here you go. Now, I think class will start any minute now, so you should probably go run off and buy something. Thanks. Yeah, of course, girl, <laughs> anytime. And uh, you can pay me back later. Of course. Well, maybe we can hang out after, oh, oh uh, okay. I'll, I'll catch you later. <laughs> oh, but before I go into class, I should probably wash my hands. Grant is clueless. Wait a minute. Did I just walk in on Rachel talking about me? Oh my gosh. Black, she gave me money for lunch. Uh, I, I thought I was doing a nice thing. Ugh, I want some too now. She is so lame. Is Rachel really not my real friend? Is she just using me for money? I'm only using her for her money. Oh my gosh, she's not even my real friend. That's awful. I hate this. Does anyone really like me? Or are people just using me because I was adopted by billionaires? <laughs> I just want someone to really care about me. Oh, um, hey there. Sorry, I, I, I didn't notice you through my tears. Hi, girly. Are you okay? Honestly, no, I'm not okay. I've actually just found out my best friend was using me for my money. She thinks I'm actually lame. But I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to unload all of my problems on you. Well, you're fine. Who was using you? Rachel, I can't believe it. We've been friends for like a few months and I thought she was a better person than that, but apparently not. Anyway, I'm sorry. I don't think I caught your name. My name's Brittany. What's yours? I'm 
Let me see. Oh, well, it's so nice to officially meet you, Lucy. And again, I I'm so sorry for just, you know, being over here crying. I just, I can't believe that someone would use me just because I have money. It's okay, girl. I'll be here for you. You will? I mean, I, I don't want to be like too forward or anything, but do you want to be my friend? Of course. And I won't ask for money. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, Lucy, I'm so excited. <laughs> now, do you want to go back to my house and like watch some TV or something? Oh my gosh, yes. What do you like to watch? Oh girl, I watch everything on TV, but especially Unica. That is my favorite show in the whole world. Let's go. Okay, uh, follow me. I think my driver is here anyway, so they can take us home. <laughs> Lucy, I'm so excited we decided to go to college together and get this super awesome house. I mean, we really worked our butts off for the past few years to afford this. And look, I'm so proud of us. We're living our best life. This place is super cool, right? I love it. I mean, sure, we just moved in, so it'll take some time to decorate, but I think we have some good bones here. I'm super proud of us. Yeah, me too, girl. <laughs> and I'm also just so lucky that we've stayed friends over the years and we're in college together. I mean, could a girl want anything else to beat college roomies with her bestie? I don't think so. And I never asked for money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> oh, it's the doorbell. Oh my gosh, Lucy, I'm so excited. I think it's my mom. She said that she was coming to visit earlier today. Oh, welcome, mom. Ugh, this is your place. Yeah, you know, the one I told you that Lucy and I were super excited to buy? I mean, we worked super hard for it. Don't you think it's so cool? I love it. Now this is the first floor and then go upstairs. This is our room. So we were able to split it. So I get to sleep over there and Lucy gets to sleep over here. Isn't this so awesome? You could do so much better. Wait, what? Mom, I thought you'd be proud of our new home. This place is ugly. What? Mom, are you for real? This house is really nice. And Lucy and I worked super hard saving our money. I could have given you money for a better house. But mom, I don't want to be given things in life. I work for what I want. Thanks for the offer, but I really like our house. I think it's cute. Well, I don't care. Well, you know what, mom? I honestly don't care. And I think it's kind of rude that you would come into my house and say that it's ugly. We will buy you a new one. But mom, honestly, I think it's time you left because you're not welcome here. I don't want any negativity in this house and clearly you're being negative. Fine, I'll go then. Yeah, it was nice seeing you, mom. You're being a brat. Well, you're being rude, mom. Sorry, Lucy, I genuinely don't know why my mom was acting that way. But whatever, let's go to Home Goods and buy some new decorations for our place. Let's ride. It seems like forever since I've last seen my parents. They were just on this crazy trip all throughout Europe. And then they ended up going and hanging out at the Great Pyramids in Egypt. Super, super cool. But I've missed them. So I decided to come over and give them a little surprise for dinner. I can't wait to see them. I hope they have some cool travel stories. Mom, dad, hello? Hey, mom and dad, I'm home. What's going on? Hi, darling. We just finished our dinner. Oh, uh, great. What did you guys have? We made steak. Can't go wrong with a good steak. Mm-hmm, that is one of my favorite meals. Well, guys, I'm so glad that you're back safe from your trip. How was it? It was fantastic. Oh, I'm so glad to hear. Well, I really missed you guys. We've missed you so much. We are so proud of you. Thanks, Mom and Dad. That's really sweet. You worked so hard. I'm so glad to have paid for your school. Yeah, again, I really appreciate that. But hey, Mom and Dad, can I be honest with you for a second? Everything okay? I really appreciate all the things you've done for me and all the things you paid for. You know, it's been really, really great, but honestly, it's not about the money. My whole life, all I've wanted was just to be around you guys. And 
You know, I just wish you were there for me more emotionally. What? But we gave you so much. Dad, you really did. But all I wanted was just two parents to spend time with me and love me. Sure, we did some amazing vacations and things like that, but it's not about all the money. It's just about being with you. Oh dear, we're so sorry. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> at least now I get to be honest with you, right? Yes, let's all be honest with each other from now on. Sounds good to me. Well, I love you, Mom and Dad. You're the best parents ever. And I'll always be grateful that you adopted me that day. I cannot thank you enough. Great. Of course. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you later. I'm gonna go hang out with my mom and dad. <laughs> Have the best day ever, and I'll see you guys soon. Don't wait around this poor hospital. Get my baby. Yes, miss. Right away. There are so many babies. Which one belongs to that rich fancy lady? Well, I can't keep waiting all day. I'll get my baby myself. Come here, little one. It's time to go fly on your first private jet. <laughs> wait, that wasn't her baby. Brenda took the remote and she's not giving it back. Well, Brittany picked a stupid show to watch and I don't want to watch it. Brenda. Is it your sister's time for the TV? I don't know. Maybe. Hand over the remote. You cannot be stealing it from Brittany. Thanks, Mom. It seems like someone's at the door. Hello? Oh, nurse. Hi, ma'am. I'm so sorry to bother you. Do you have a minute? Of course. Come on in. Mom, who's here? This is the nurse that delivered you. Well, it's so nice to meet you. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Is Brittany actually an alien? Brenda, I'm not an alien. I'm afraid to say this. Your child was switched at birth and it's all my fault. How could you keep this a secret? You know, I bet it was me. I never felt like I was a part of this family anyway. Which child was it? It was you, Brittany. I was switched at birth? Not fair. I wanted to be the one switched at birth. Well, nurse, what do we do now? I've already informed her real parents and they'll be coming by tomorrow. Good luck. Sorry again. <laughs> my bad. Brittany, this means you're not my real daughter. I'll always be your daughter. You raised me and I love you. I just, I don't know what to think. Everything I know is a lie. They should be here any minute now. Brittany, hurry up. Get down here. Coming, Mom. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous. They're here. Brittany, go get the door. I'm gonna finish setting up. Okay, no problem. Hi there. I'm Brittany. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where's the valet? Mom, this place is gross. Can we go yet? Go? You just got here. Well, come on in. <sighs> Looks like a dump, Mom. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, Right this way. Um, I'd love to introduce you to my mom. Hello there. I it's nice to meet you. You're telling me this lady is my mom? No way. Quiet down, Jessica. It's nice to meet you. Sorry for all this mix-up. Oh, I know. We're in a white pickle, huh? I prepared lunch. If you'd like to sit down, I'll bring it over. I made some pork chops. Oh my gosh, you guys are in for a treat. My mom's pork chops are like next level amazing. Pork? Doesn't that contain gluten? Yeah, I thought we were coming over for a caviar lunch. Mom, do we have any caviar? No, I, I'm so sorry. Lame. Ugh. Guess I'll eat this salad. Maybe I'll try one of these pork chops. Ugh. Mom, don't take one bite. This is disgusting. Jessica, you're being a little extreme. Let me try a bite. I thought this would have truffle on it. I'm sorry. This is just not up to our standards. We're billionaires. We have the best of the best chefs at our house. Do we have to pretend that we care about these people? I mean, look, they're poor. That's not really nice to say. Sure, we're not billionaires, but my mom worked really hard. You know what? How about we skip lunch? Brittany, since I'm your real mother, how would you like to come stay with us so we can get to know each other a little bit better? See how your life's supposed to be. Life as a billionaire? Mom, what do you say? I think that's a great idea. And Jessica, if you'd like to stay here with me, your real mom, you can. Ew, no, absolutely not. This place is a dump. Okay. Well, Brittany, I think it's a good idea you learn about your real family. Go pack your bags and spend the night. Whoa! This place place is amazing. This is where you live? Actually, this is one of our smaller homes. We own seven. Yeah, I mean, don't all people own multiple houses? I don't think so. Especially not ones this beautiful and huge. We'll give you a tour. This place is insane. Whoa! Oh, yes. We had the marble imported from Italy. And over here... Mom, what's the point? You're explaining all these things and 
she doesn't know. She's poor. It's not really nice. I mean, I know where Italy is. So, Brittany, there's actually something I'd like to talk to you about. Okay. What is it? I don't know how to say this nicely, but no child of mine is going to dress poor. Are you saying you look poor? Precisely. Yes. Now, Jessica, take Brittany upstairs and maybe let her borrow one of your things. Why do I have to share my clothes with her? Jessica, if you don't stop right this instant, I am cutting you off and taking your black card away. This is stupid. Well, come on, Brittany. Let's go upstairs. This is your bedroom? You have your own espresso? And what, a fountain by your computer? This room is sick. Don't touch anything with your dirty peasant hands. Okay, I'm sorry. So, uh... I see like a lot of clothes. Just shut up, I'm trying to think. So now that we're like sisters, kind of, what's your favorite thing to do? Stop, stop right there. You're trying to ruin my life and take my things from me. You're not switching back. I am staying in this mansion forever. I'm never gonna be a part of that poor family that you came from. You'd be lucky to have my mom. She is awesome. And sure, we don't have a ton of money, but that doesn't mean anything. We have love. That's something poor people say. Now stay away from me and my family. So this is the place. It looks too nice for Brittany to live here. I'm gonna change that. What do you think of my new look? I mean, it, it's not really me, but I think it's cool. It's a, a little last season, but so much better than before. Now, come on, how would you like some caviar by the pool? Our chef prepared it for us. Caviar? I've never had that before, but sure. Sounds great. So I guess we should probably get to know each other. What do you like to do for fun? I like to spend money and make money. Oh, um, okay. Other than that, do you like to garden or? Gardening's terrible. Are you a coffee person or a tea person? Coffee is disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, guys, I don't know what to do. How do I get to know this woman? We seem very different. Wow, check this place out. Brenda, what are you doing here? This mansion is so weak. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm Brenda, the one who definitely is your daughter and not Brittany. I need to be the billionaire, not her. Brenda, not everything is about money. This is my mom. I'll prove it to you. I'm meant to be rich. Ah! Brenda, you can't just storm into this house like this. Wow. Is this floor imported from Italy? And whoa, 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 whoa. Are those drapes Egyptian cotton? Wow, you must have great taste. You bet I do, lady. The yacht isn't ready for me to go to San Tropez. You guys have a yacht? What don't you have? We don't allow poor people in this house. Now, Jessica, do me a favor and escort this girl in the plaid shirt out of here. Are you making fun of my fit? Yes, it looks disgusting. Now leave. Get off my property. The nerve on that lady. I can't believe this. Well, try and be me. I have a little idea. I know you must hate Brittany. I mean, I've lived with her my entire life and I absolutely hate her. So maybe I do. What's your point? We get rid of Brittany and I can be your new sister. I like where this is going. Being a billionaire is fun and all, but I really miss my mom. So I'm going home just to see how she is. Mom, I'm home. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it sounds like my mom's crying. Mom, where are you? I'm over here. Why are you crying? Oh, there you are, loser. Nice of you to show up. I can save you the embarrassment and tell you what's going on now. Brenda, what did you do to upset mom? I'm actually gonna be the one moving in with the billionaires. I just fit in there better. No, there's no way. I already talked to them and they weren't impressed and they don't want anything to do with you, so. I'm moving in. I cannot believe this. You're telling me both of my daughters. Mom, stop crying and just get over it, okay? Now our limo's here to take us away. And I'm riding shotgun. Bye. I feel awful. First they take you and now they're taking Brenda. This is too much for me to handle. Mom. I hate to see you upset. How about I take you out to lunch and we can spend time together? I'm always gonna be your daughter. You raised me. That sounds nice. Can I have a little bit more money? Barry gave you money to go shopping. You need more? Of course I do. I spent it all. Here, that's the last of it. Thank you so much, new mom. You're so cool. I can't believe that girl. I cannot take it anymore. That Brenda is going to make us broke. Jeez, mom, I've never seen you so upset before. 
forth. If she keeps spending our money like this, we'll be living in the poorhouse. We have to do something. That'll be $10, please. There you go, and keep the change. Thank you, that, that's an amazing tip. Of course. Come on, mom, let's sit over here. I am literally having the best day with you, mom. Oh, I know, darling, me too. But I'm in rest. That was a rather large tip. My billionaire mom gave me an allowance and why not tip people that work super hard? He deserves it. You're right. This coffee is out of this world. I'd give him all the money in my account if I could. Excuse me? Jessica, what are you doing here? Oh, hi, Jess. It's nice to see you. Yeah, yeah, whatever, lady. You have to take Brenda back. Uh, no. You need to take her back. Not after the way she treated my mom. I will literally give you thousands of dollars if you take that awful woman back. Jess, can you talk with me outside real quick? How are we gonna get Brenda to leave? She's basically a gold digger, so... I don't know. She's your sister. Can't you think of something? I thought of something. How would you like to, I don't know, maybe try on some new clothes? This better work. I can't be caught dead in poor people clothing. Trust me, if Brenda thinks that everyone has lost all their money, she for sure is gonna want nothing to do with you guys. And this better work, Brit. Don't worry about it. Now, we just wait for dear old Brenda to show up. There she is now. Quick, everyone, look poor and sad. Oh my gosh, you will not believe it. Um, did I not get the homeless trend memo? Brenda, we're so glad you're here. What's going on? Brenda, we have something super important to tell you. We're bankrupt, especially after that show. Shopping spree you just went on. Bankrupt? No, 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 you're joking. We're not joking, do you think I wanna look like this? We lost our house and everything. Uh, no, I I'm going inside. No, 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 hello, open up, hello? Brenda, the house is locked. You're not getting in there unless you buy it from the bank. This is unbelievable. Yeah, so you're gonna have to return everything you just bought. I'm out of here, I'm not gonna be a part of a homeless family. Ew, disgusting. Well, looks like we got rid of Brenda, huh? Now that is a true member of the billionaire family. 